Yo, what's up? My name is DLive, I'm live looping vocalist and beatboxer and this is my first video review of music performance gear. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the most popular loop stations in the market, which is Boss RC505. Let's start! Let's start. Let's start. Music still in my soul Showing me that I will to go As I mentioned, Boss RC505 is a very popular piece of gear. There's a lot of info about it on the internet, especially on YouTube, so you can ask me why do I want to review this love station when a lot of people done it before. Firstly, I decided to talk about RC505 because most of its reviews were made soon after purchase or after a few days of tests. It is more a kind of first impressions, walkthrough or future showcase and basic tutorials. RC505 was an object of desire for many, also for me of course. That's why most of videos about it are like, OMG, it's awesome. And they focus mainly on pros. What, in my opinion, is not the real goal of reviewing something. Definitely, RC505 is a great gear, but it has some imperfections which I also want to talk about. Of course, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that other reviews are bad, they are just different. Secondly, I want to make a long term, in depth review after the bus after one year of using RC505 in different conditions, with many setups and configurations on stage, in a studio, on workshops and rehearsals. I also want to compare it to my other loop stations, such as Boss RC300. RC505 was released 3 years ago in early 2013 and it's still the flagship looper from Bose, the first 5 channel tabletop loop station in the market, advertised by Doublefax as the perfect machine for beatboxers and vocalists, so maybe that's the secret of its popularity. And even today RC505 hasn't any real competitors, it's still probably the most powerful hardware standalone loop station available on the market. And uh, as I mentioned, it's a tabletop loop station, so most instrumentalists should choose its bigger, heavier and older brother, the RC300 or other looper and full switch format. Ok, I'd like to start my review with a few words about build quality of RC505. In my opinion, it's the one of the biggest downsides of this device. And the selling marketing key of any product is to transfer cons to pros. That's why Roland called the flagship looper a lightweight. Yes, it is almost 3 times lighter than RC300, but it's made almost 100% of plastic, even a stacky and glossy one which you can find in cheap TV for example. Luckily, most parts are made of made and really scratch proof material but it still looks like a toy, not a performance music gear for stage use, especially compared to RC300 which has rugged metal chassis. To make matters worse, RC505 has all of the inputs and outputs made of plastic. It's unacceptable in device advertised as performance class gear. And since few weeks after about 10 months of use, I had a problem with headphone out, which started dying and will need a replacement soon. I guess that other ins and outs will wear out in the immediate future. And it looks really crappy, it's much less durable in comparison with solid metal threaded inputs and outputs of RC300 for example. It's a real shame in its price range Roland. On the other side, pads are made of tough and durable rubber with grey filling, similar to these in groove boxes, with no sides of rubbing out or winning off. You can hit it really hard and quite lightly and it will work properly each time. And it is much more comfortable to use it with your fingers than any other switch in Starbucks loop stations. Uh, I also can't complain about lever faders, they are big enough, a little bit shaky but well balanced and still working without any problems. As you see, my RC505 looks quite good after 11 months, but I must admit I don't really care about my gear, I always keep it in solid pedal board, so if you want to use it in the same way as heavy pedal multi-effects, it won't look as good after a few months, I guess. Ok, let's talk about technical stuff. RC505 of course has 5 independent tracks with total recording time of about 3 hours and CD quality, what really mean it has 4 gigs of memory stored on no name microSD cards, but you won't find any info about that in any official specs. 3 hours of recording sound much better than 4 gigs of memory. I guess it is possible to replace it uh, with better memory card and with bigger storage capacity, but I didn't try it. And obviously you'll still have only 99 memory patches available. If we're talking about connectors, 
shows that are much less of it in RC505 than in RC300, what is quite evident because it is much smaller. Living out the boot quality, I've just talked about it, I only regret that there is only one external control input, so I must choose between plug-in full switch or expression pedal. Also I don't like that uh, there is only one main signal output, so I have to use Hafen's output to connect my monitoring system what is really inconvenient on stage. But you've got most useful ins and outs though, with audibly improved mic preamp since RC300. Now it's louder and has less distortion on high levels, with no doubt you can plug your mic directly to XLR input without any external preamps as most users do. And it sounds decent. Now it's time for the most important part of this review you've been probably waiting for. How we can use RC505, how many features we've got, how we can create music with it on stage and in a studio. I'll try to quickly answer all these questions. It's a really versatile tool, you can obviously use it as a 5 channel loop station, as a dynamic FX processor, as a sampler with independent FX and filters, as an audio interface for your door, as a storage for your musical ideas divided into separate tracks, or finally, as a really big 4 gigs pen drive. It all depends on your needs. And after 2.0 firmware update, it's even more powerful, but I will talk about it a little bit later. Let's start from scratch. RC505 has 5 independent tracks with separate controls. You can store up to 99 memory patches with customized settings for each one and with saved samples or audio files, up to 5 for each one, of course. It's really flexible and gives you opportunity to use one device with many setups and for many purposes. It's the same way of customizing your gear as it was in RC300 and the predecessor of big boss loop stations RC50. But RC505 pushed it even further and gives you a few great new settings. One of my favorite is master compression and reverb, which you can add independently to each memory patch. <laughs> Soft master compression can reduce a mess in your sound and reverb or master channel adds a little bit of a juice to your loops what can really make it sound better. What's also really great in RC505, when you change memory patch during playback it will simply wait to the end of a loop and seamlessly jump to the selected patch, just like in a sequencer, so you can even play a whole DJ set with prepared loops and samples on this device. As you know it has almost full size level faders contrary to other, especially full switch loop stations, what can give you a lot of new ways of manipulating and affecting your sound, which weren't available before. It is also a very convenient way to control levels of your loops and a whole mix. That's why I use it quite often. Now, let's jump to the effects, a great improvement of RC505 performance. After 2.0 firmware update, there are even more of it, now it's 27 input effects and 31 output effects. Of course, you can apply output effects to each track separately or to all of them at the same time. I only regret that it's not possible to apply different effects to each track simultaneously, but it's only a small detail. Four of output effects are, let's call it, overdub able. It means that you can overdub and resample any track with applied effect as a new loop, so you can save it or put another effect on it. But it's a pity that only four effects can be overdubbed. And after an 2.0 update, you can use multiple input and output effects at the same time. What's a decent improvement, but on the other hand, controls could be a little bit more intuitive. With all that being said, Boss RC505 is a great loop station, you can do crazy things on it, use it for many purposes and express your musicality in thousands of ways. It is probably the most powerful hardware standalone loop station you can get right now, but it's not perfect. 
there is a lot of room for improvement, especially in field of build quality, which is a little bit shameful for this kind of device and for its price. After one year of using RC505, I'm not considering changing my main lip station. On the one hand, because it's a really great device, and on the other hand, because it has no real competitors. I would love to see on the market a lip station with functionality and powerful features of RC505 mixed with build quality and die hardness of RC300, for example. It will be great. Thank you for watching my video review. If you like it, give me a thumb up and of course subscribe my channel. Also, check out my music, watch my live looping videos, and see you in the next one.